The second most powerful man in the state of Florida is about to declare war on the television producer behind celebrity chef Imre Lagasse, and it all has to do with how your money is being spent. Today, on this first full day of the brand new legislative session, I interviewed House Speaker Richard Corcoran, who says a storm of change is about to come to Florida. How many ones by the glass you have? Tonight, Chef Imre Lagasse, a central figure in a growing legal battle over the finances of this TV show called Emeralds Florida, which once profiled Burn Steakhouse in Tampa. In less than 24 hours, House Speaker Richard Corcoran will push his fellow members to subpoena and impose fines on the producer behind the show for not complying with a state-issued subpoena requesting the expense reports of the show's production. At the heart of that subpoena, an accusation from Speaker Corcoran that the state agency Visit Florida may have illegally spent more than $10 million in your taxpayer money to use the show to promote the state. Do I think that there's gross misspending uh, in that money? Yes, and I think they're trying to hide it. Is there anything that may or may not be illegal? At this point in time, it's called into question. At the same time tomorrow, a legal showdown will unfold inside a Tallahassee courtroom where a judge will decide if the subpoena against the TV show's producer should be thrown out. The speaker believes the financial documents he's seeking will prove Visit Florida misspent your money to pay Chef Emeril and his producer. And to the extent that, that there was graft and corruption, we'll turn it over to the prosecutors and ask them to go out there and prosecute. Speaker Corcoran, who many speculate will announce his candidacy for governor after the legislative session ends this March, is also on a crusade to stop any and all future property tax increases in the state, vowing to make it harder for any city to ever raise property taxes again, even if your property values increase. On your local level, if your county commissioners do not go to the rollback rate on your property values and instead take that extra money, they have to notice it as a tax increase. Tampa City leaders might have something to say about that. As for running for governor, I asked him that very question. Speaker Corcoran told me that he will make that decision after this legislative session is over, T-minus 59 days.